Hi all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Philip, and um, I'm sorry for the last month. I um, had a lot of things to do, um, family stuff, private stuff. Bought my phone, so I had to buy a new one. Um, didn't work on the car for uh, several months. Let's see what we can do today. Um, I guess it will be the gearbox to put, to put that back in on the uh, chassis. So um, enjoy this video and let's move on. So I bought the new silencers here, original, but there's one thing that is not right. There's this edge here. The old ones doesn't have that, so they laying flat on the surface. So for that I had to do something drastic that I don't want to do, but it's no other way. So I drilled them so they lie flat here. We put some grease on. I guess I didn't drill that deep enough. The other side. This one is better. So I guess these edges are a little bit higher. Okay, let's drill some a little bit more. Be really gently because this is aluminium. <laughs> yep, that's right. Running in the bolts here, the nuts, sorry. And again, this is a 14. The other one now. Okay, now before we can put the gearbox back underneath it, we need to uh, put this bracket on. So therefore we need four bolts and I do a little grease on the bolts. So when another one comes back after so many years, he can remove them without any problem. So, put the bolt here in screw and a washer and put this one in here okay the second one So please remind that you don't tighten them up because uh, that will be afterwards. Let me take you to the other side. So a bolt here. And normally it will not have any problems. But in this case it's a little bit tight. 
but she's in. So don't tighten up if you want. There's still one here. Okay, that's in. Okay, that's good for now. So this is on and it's still loose, as you can see. It first has to be underneath the car, then you can tighten up the bolts. So now I'm going to take off the gearbox because I need to put that uh, starter in. It's not the starter that it's needy in this car, but um, I will search for another one. But for the time being, it will do. I hope it will not drop. As you can see, not very expensive bolts here. I have to try to pull it out now. Hopefully, okay. There it is now, loose. Okay, now i um, going to put back the axle, the gearbox in. So, uh, make some room with the wires here. Now we go. Down in. So we have these two bolts here, at the left and at the right and two on the front there yeah and the little hole where the gear shaft has to go in so first of all we go a little bit on the back here and goes up i hope i don't drop it because I put a lot of effort in it. And I hope I can get high enough. Oops, that's a little bit too tight for you guys. So, going up. There's something stuck here. I don't know what. No, it's just that foam to crack off if it's needy. Yeah, there you have it. I will break it off totally now. That will just be in the way. Okay, going straight back now. Okay, turning. So now I lift it a little bit and we go in. There it is. Oops. A little bit downish. Yeah. That's good. A little bit to the side. And there it is normally. Let's see if we can get the bolts in. This one is prepped. Okay, the second bolt is ready. And as you can see, I can put it in. So, the threads are good here. Okay, now you can already loosen up the jack because at the front it's already in the holes. So, 
let's see. There we go. So and then I'm underneath the car here. And uh, you see this bolt here, this one on the other side. So, so we have to put two nuts on and two washers, but don't forget the ground. Put that on, okay. Let me find my washers here. It's a little bit difficult with one hand, but I will manage. Oh, I'm right-handed, so this is uh, more difficult than I would. No. And there it goes. A second. Sorry for the interruptions here. We'll do it with my right hand, so that will be better. Okay. Now we have to do the other one. Nugget. This one I cannot do with one hand here. Don't want to make any scratches on the new paint here. Okay, that's tight. So that's in. One nut on the left with the ground that is attached to the gearbox. Then the other nut and it's all fixed. So now we're going to fix those uh, at front and the little ones from the rubbers. At front we have two nuts on that rubber uh, 17 millimeters. This these were uh, 27 and the little ones are 14 millimeters so now we tighten these up give it a good snug because this has to be tight very tight The other one, it's a little bit darker for you guys, but okay. Okay. one here, and that's tight. Sorry for the wiggling. <laughs> now we can uh, tighten up the little ones. Don't over tighten them, just tight enough. That's all. Okay. That's all. Two bolts at the front, four on the rubbers. Sorry, on the back. Four on the back two for the rubbers and two at front. But that's uh, a 17. Two four uh, four fourteens, two twenty sevens. Okay, now the gearbox is in, and uh, the only thing you have to do is putting the shifter on it with this coupler. Um, I don't know. If it will be good or not, 
But first of all, we take this bolt out. Uh, you see that pin? That goes up there in that hole. So first of all, we will see if it goes in, yes or no. But I think with the paint, that's a little bit too much. So, what we will do now, take a little bit of sandpaper, and you try, it's difficult here, with filming and all. Get a little bit paint off. As you can see, it was a fine layer. Okay. Now we put some grease on. Now, we take the coupler, turn it already in the position, so the hole is lined up with that one, okay. It's a tight fit, but there a little bit more okay let me take it out of gear yeah like that Now you see the hole is directly where the threads are, so uh, now we put the bolt back in. And as you can see, it's a square hole in my key here. That's the same as the, as the square that's from a door, an old doorknob. So uh, if you wonder why I get it so smoothly off, it's because I use the use I use the right tools. So you put that on, and turn that tight, and the other one too. As you can see. It was just on and that's that so now the last thing that we will do um, normally they uh, put some iron wire in it but I have copper here that's the same it's just it has to be secure that's all so there are little holes in the bolts, so you put them in like that. It just, it's just for security that they will not loosen up. I know they did it different, but that's either the same here. OK. 
Okay. Another one is attached here. Okay. Bend this a little bit over. And this will go nowhere. So this is all tightened up. And this is secured. So uh, now the couple is in place. We have a little bit of play here, but there is no plastic uh, buffer between them. So uh, let's take this back together. First of all, we take this plate, but I'm going to grease it a little bit. So it will not rust underneath it. I think it's like this. Even we put some grease in the hole here. Good amount of it. Spill it again. I've repainted this one because uh, I don't want to get it uh, rusted again. This one is still original. So, again, some grease here. And turn it a little bit like that. So the grease is everywhere. Put the spring back. It's a little bit hard, but... And we do a little bit of grease on it. So this one will not rust. It's just a precaution, that's all. We do a little bit of grease here, because this has to slide. Now we can push back the stick. I don't know if the plate is on the right side or the right place. This is, this is a little bit too much at front. So take this a little bit back. Oh. From here. Okay. So if that is all in place, don't look at the paint, I will redo it. Um, then you have first gear, second gear, third, fourth. Now we go to the back, the reverse. So that's <clears throat> very good. The shifter is doing his job. First, second, third, fourth. 
So this is uh, very good. Now we put the wrapper on. Just as easy as this. And now the cleaned up knob on top. And that's nice. Okay, that's it for the uh, the shifter. Gearbox is in. Well, I'm happy. So the only thing that I have to do is uh, put the lid on. It can be closed now. Okay, this is the, still the original. That's one. And these are also the originals. That's done. So the gearbox is in now and uh, I'm ready to do other stuff, the stuff that I really like, that's uh, building up together, um, putting some rubbers in, the heat shields, uh, everything is now fun. Uh, still have to do the front axle and the rear axle uh, and the brakes, then the engine is as, is as last and um, hopefully it goes all well. Need some painting to do but um, that will be in the future. So I thank you very much for watching and I hope I will see you in the next episodes of the restoration of uh, Phoenix, the Oval 1955. So, um, so until then and uh, be safe.